Greetings everyone. On the 31st of August 2024, the Saturday Star carried an attack. It's an opinion piece by journalist Isaac Onedal. It's titled Two Port System, Ports, Pensions and the Portfolios. We have titled this video ZEP Retirement so that uh, holders of ZEP will uh, uh, watch this video and understand the need to join trade unions. Uh, we always ask ZEP holders to join in trade unions. We have been working with other trade unions in South Africa to make it possible for them to join, but others seem not to be interested. So hence, we have to tackle this video ZEP uh, retirement. So the article says, <coughs> uh, it talks, talks about the two-port system. Uh, it has been operationalized or it has started started on the 1st of September uh, uh, 2024. So the two-port system is now in place. What does uh, it mean? Let, let me just uh, read so that we all have an understanding of what uh, the two-port system is about. Uh, I caught the article in a nutshell. The two-port system, as the name suggests, entails future retirement savings being allocated to two ports. One third will go to a savings port, which retirement fund members access, and the two thirds to a retirement port. Members will be able to withdraw from their savings port for emergencies at any time but only once a year. The retirement port system must remain invested until retirement. There will also be a third port, that is vested port, that will contain members' existing retirement savings as at the end of August 2024, where the rules will be the same as under the current retirement system. In addition, an amount of 10% of the retirement savings at the end of August 2024 kept at 30,000 rands will be allocated to the savings port, meaning it will be available for immediate withdrawal. The compul compulsory preservation component, that is the retirement port, will end the widespread practice of people catching in their retirement savings whenever they change jobs so some people when they change jobs they they uh, withdraw their retirement savings in fact many people change jobs just to access their retirement funds this leakage not only leaves individuals without sufficient retirement capital when they reach old age but also means the overall pool of South African retirement assets is smaller than it should be. Just because you can does not mean you should. It's a heading in the article. It cannot be stressed enough that early withdrawals from retirement funds should be avoided un unless absolutely necessary. The biggest friend an investor has is time. Since time facilitates compound growth, Early withdrawals from a retirement fund robs that man of the time to grow. Even at a relatively modest growth rate of 4% a year, 30,000 rands would be more than double to 65,733 rands over 20 years. At a 6% annual growth rate, it will more than triple to 96,000. 214 rands and the 10% will grow to 201,825 rands. Therefore, taking 30,000 rands out of your retirement savings today does not mean that your future self will be 30,000 rands poorer. It means in future you will be poorer by 65,000 rands or 96,000 rands or 200,000 rands two decades from now. It gets worse. Since early withdrawals will be taxed at a marginal rate, 
whereas growth inside the retirement fund is tax-free. Nonetheless, estimates from the government and various financial institutions suggest that somewhere between 50 billion and rands and 100 billion rands will be withdrawn in the first month of or two after the port system takes effect. This will largely be a one-off event as future withdrawals will be based on one-third of a new contributions from September onwards and will therefore be spread out over time. Let us look at the last part. We will not read the entire article, uh, but the implications. We always speak about the implications. This has three immediate impacts. Firstly, these withdrawals will be taxed. Government's coffers will swell. In the February budget, an additional 5 billion rands in tax revenue was penciled in June to two port withdrawals. Secondly, consumers will have more money to spend. A portion of withdrawals will probably go towards settling debt, but the remainder, remainder will be spent since it is unlikely that people will withdraw savings only to save it again. If you withdraw, you want to spend. Combined with the lower inflation and coming rate cuts, the medium-term outlook for consumer spending has therefore improved. Data released last week showed consumer inflation declined to 4.6% year-on-year in July from 5.1% in June. This is close to the midpoint of the Reserve Bank's 3% to 6% target range and since the deal for red cards starting at the September Monetary Policy Committee meeting. Thirdly, there will be some selling of investments to realize the cash payouts. Could it have a disruptive impact on local financial markets? Probably not. The withdrawals would mostly likely be staggered over a few weeks or even months since not all pension fund administrators would be able to hang it the expected volume of requests at the same pace. We will end the attack here. So as I said that uh, uh, there were questions by holders, some holders of the Zimbabwe exemption permits on uh, what uh, the two-port system mean. And uh, we can't recall some other questions that uh, they were asking us. Uh, now that the two-port system uh, is now operational. Uh, please write your questions. We are talking uh, to comrades in the trade union movement to assist us to uh, give you a uh, better explanation so that uh, you are not left behind. Please like this video. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you are on TikTok, please do follow us. Like I said, we target the, target the video ZEP uh, retirement so that uh, we have many people uh, watching this video so that you are not left behind. Otherwise, goodbye.